Okay, for this next recording, I'm going to talk about how to include images into uh, WordPress. So hopefully um, you have started uh, WordPress, and uh, and in this case, uh, you've logged in. Um, let me get to um, my login here. And uh, uh, this is not the one I want to be in, so let me change my, uh, maybe this is the one I want to be in my Pittsburgh site. Just, what am I logged in here? Oh yeah, I'm in Pittsburgh right here. So again, um, you should have uh, a WordPress account now, and you should be able to log in. If the first time you log in, it says you want to do a theme thing and stuff, I just said customize, boom, takes you to here. Okay, so I know uh, first week we kind of made just a sample page. Well, today um, we're going to just make another sample page, but this time, again, I'm going to go over how to do all the kind of images you might want to include on a website. So to do that... What I want you to do is is um, just make a new page. Uh, as you can see, some of the things, we're going to talk a lot about these menus over here, some of the things, and I know we haven't really adjusted any of these yet and so on, but uh, as you can see, um, you should have at least one page you made from the first week, and then this, this time we're going to do just an image page. So I'm just going to start by going under where it says Pages here and say new, new, Add New. So I'm going to add a new page to this um, uh oh that's not a very good sign when it says service unavailable let me uh maybe i need to log in again let me pause this for a moment oh no it worked okay so i just had to refresh again if you're using a browser you might have to refresh sometimes uh so again this is going to be my image sample so i want you to uh put your name up there and as jeff ask off and put your name in there uh, image uh, assignment. How about that? So give yourself a title. You should have a title at the top of your page. Um, you can give that self a title right there. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is just put in some images. Uh, I think the first image that I ask you to do on the um, assignment here, if I could find it, is um, a PNG with a transparency. So to put a PNG with a transparency is just any other image. Uh, so you should have downloaded it, included it on your website. Now you'll notice, uh, again, this is a block kind of thing. You see how it says add block there and then the add block there. So this is a new thing to this WordPress 5.0. Uh, again, if you're using an old version, it doesn't have these block things, and it, it has a little different interface. And I know it's kind of confusing if you're looking at old videos and stuff like that. So I am making some new videos here today for you. Uh, to add the image, uh, again, if you put your block there, you'll notice there is images over here. It says add image, add gallery, and that's what we're going to do. You can actually click over here if you want, or you can click on the, um, the plus right here. Either way. It'll take it to this, you know, kind of, you know, if I click on the plus here, again, you could just choose image there. It's the same as if you click there. And then it's going to say, hey, what kind of image do you want? Well, I have no images in this uh, um, in this WordPress yet because this is a new folder that I made because I'm going to be making a new um, website here. So I'm going to go and say upload right here. You'll notice it takes you to this thing. So when we use images and we work in images inside of uh, WordPress, ooh, I shouldn't have you insert a URL too, so we'll have to include that in your assignment. Uh, when we go and, and use uh, images in WordPress, they'll all be stored in what's called the media library. So every time you add an image into your WordPress, it'll keep adding it to the media library, and you can reuse it again and again later. You know, you, you don't have to use it. You can use it multiple times. So right now, I'm just going to say upload to bring my image into uh, the WordPress environment. So if I click on upload image, it's going to ask me again. I'm going to use the transparency one that I just talked about before, which was the color. Or no, not the color skyline. Which one? Oh, the Pirates logo. That's the one right there. So I'm going to include my Pirates logo PNG and it'll bring it in. As you can see, it's taking a little time because it has to upload it. Once you add an image in there, now you can't tell it has transparency there because we haven't changed the background color. It's just white, and so you can't really tell, but it is a transparency there. Make sure you give it an alternative text over here. Alternative text means that you are describing the um, image for screen readers and stuff. We'll talk a little bit about that when we get to accessibility. But for right now, make sure you include an alt tag. I'm going to call it Pirates Logo. I'd probably call it Pittsburgh Pirates Logo would be best. So think of a good name that you could include there. Oops, if you spell it right. 
Okay, so there we go. Um, and then it asks you what kind of size you want and if you want a link. A link would be as if you want when the person clicks on it, it actually goes somewhere. You can actually do that with images inside of WordPress. So if you look over here where it says link to, you can actually go and have it. So if when the person clicks on the Pirates thing, you want it to go to the actual Pittsburgh Pirates, how about website? We can do that easy. Let's just go and find the Pittsburgh Pirates website. So I'm going to actually click on the plus here and let me go to uh, Pittsburgh Pirates website. How about that? Let's go and find it. Yes. No. Oh, this is. The, don't they have a better one that's not the MLB? Um, well, I guess not. I guess that, that's all they're making you do all the everybody's on the major league baseball so let's just go there again I'm gonna highlight the address it's at the top up here you'll notice there is a um, address at the top I'm gonna copy that how do I copy I can right click there and say copy as well or I can use keyboard commands I'm on a Mac I'm gonna use command C to copy or it, or if you're on Windows you'd use control C to copy or in this case if you want you can go under edit and copy as well there's a bunch of ways to copy once I copy I'm gonna close this website Again, since I inserted an image into WordPress, I can actually add a link on there so when the person clicks on the logo, it goes somewhere. And that's what I'm showing you right now. If you go down here, you'll see uh, again, I have the image selected. This is where I put in alternative text uh, where it says link to down here. I can choose a uh, custom URL right there. Um, these other options media file which means it links to itself which means when the person clicks on it it'll go to a bigger version of the image um, inside of WordPress which is kind of useful if you have a small little thumbnail and you want when the person clicks on a small little thumbnail you want to see a bigger version that would be the media file which is actually good attachment page which means you can go to a page within your website so if you had multiple pages within your website you can and the person clicks on the logo you can actually have a go to um, a certain Certain page in your website that's what attachment page would be uh, I'm gonna go to where it says custom URL in addition if I come down below here you'll notice it says link URL I'm gonna paste my URL in there to the pirates website right there and then I'm going and that's all you need to do you might have to hit tab to make sure it does its thing sometimes or sometimes you have to hit return to make sure so be 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 aware of that. Then the other one here is where it says open a new tab, which means if you want them to stay on your website when they click on the logo to go to the um, Pirates website and you want them to open a new tab and not necessarily leave your site, you can actually click on here right there and that'll open in a new tab, which means they know you see the little tabs up here, which means when they click on it, it goes to a new tab. That's a useful feature if you don't want them to leave your site. By default, it's not. So when they click on it, it actually leaves your site and goes there. If you say new tab, it doesn't open. So, you know, you have that option there. The other thing is once you put your PNG in, you can give it a caption down below. We can type in uh, Pittsburgh Pi Ritz logo. There you go, or something, whatever you want. Okay. So, again, that is a way to put in a PNG. So I hit tabbed on the keyboard and it went down. And let's look at the next one I'm, we were going to put in. What we were going to put in the next one. Ooh, an animated GIF. So, oh, whoosh. Too many windows going crazy on me here. Uh, next, I'm going to, again, I hit tab to get down to below. And you'll notice I have a new plus to add a new image underneath. In fact, I might shrink this down a little bit. It's a little big for me. This is taking up a lot of space. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so um, again, you could shrink an image down. I think I showed you that in the first class or first uh, video by putting your cursor along. You see these little blue um, options here. It allows you to shrink things down. Okay, so in this case, I want to add uh, the animated GIF. The animated GIF is just like you would in, uh, add a um, um, add a just a plain image just like we did with adding the PNG animated GIF is the same way uh, again you can click on the little image icon that is right here if I click on that I say hey what kind of image you want again I'm gonna upload again I'm gonna click the upload once I click upload I'm gonna then choose my animated GIF I think I showed you how to download oh, the water fountain one that's the one we wanted so I'm gonna download the water fountain GIF there and I hit open 
and you'll notice it's here. You should give that alternative text. So I'm going to give that Pittsburgh, um, Pittsburgh um, point. That's the, so that's the point of the, the city. And you can have it uh, give it a caption as well. Point State Park. And then um, that's it. And, and so you can see the animation is happening right there inside there in in there so you know just insert your animated gif and then again i'm going to go underneath there again you should see your 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 little plus there and what's the next one i wanted you to put in and hero image oh let's get to that um last so we'll do the hero image and feature image together okay so um let's get to that last uh, the, the next one I want you to do is a gallery. So in, when you do a gallery, you want to be able to have uh, more than one image. So that's why I had a folder with all the photos that I took before. So to do that, I'm going to click on where it says Add Gallery right there. And I'm going to click on that. And when you say Add Gallery, you'll notice it's um, asking you to upload again or go to the Media Library. So I'm going to go Upload right here. And I'm going to go to my Photos folder. And I'm going to choose uh, several photos that I might want to use. Um, I don't know which ones they are. I'm kind of randomly um, putting them in here. You know, grab one from the bottom down here. So maybe do like four or five. Three, four, five. I don't know what I got here. Four or five. Maybe six. I don't know. I'm going to put all those in there. And so um, once you add them all, and you'll notice they're big. That's the problem. Like I was telling you before. Look at this one's 10.4 megabytes. Woo! Take up a lot of space. Remember, I resized one inside of, of Photoshop earlier in my other video. So if I hit open, it's going to take a little while. And the reason why it's going to take a little while is that it has to upload all the images together. And then you'll notice also is that some images that were horizontal or vertical now. So you might have to adjust those. And we'll talk a little bit about that. In fact, I don't know how to rotate that. We'll see if I can figure that out. Um, again, you'll notice that some of the images are in um, vertical, but again, it put it in uh, horizontal here, so I'll have to see how they go about to adjust that, because that doesn't look right to see a bridge that is uh, horizontal. But again, this is the problem that I was talking about earlier, is if you have images that are really large, they're going to take a little while to put into um, WordPress. And so let me uh, save this and then um, let me pause this for just a minute. Okay, so uh, it uploaded the images. Again, you can see your gallery. It's basically, oh, I got two of the same ones in there. Whoosh. Let me remove one. So again, I have two of the same one. To remove one, you can just click on the little X there. Boom, it'll go away. And notice how it reorders your image so that now it looks a little bit nicer with the two. Let me see if I can rotate this. I just don't know how... Oh, I can see a crop image here. I can see the link. Is there advanced? No, that's a CSS thing. There we go. Gallery, documents, block. Um, I don't know. Let's go to the actual um, media gallery. Um, so let's um, save. It automatically saved it. Um, let me go to the media. There's a media library over here. In the upper left corner here where it says media, there's a library right there. So I'm going to go to library right there. And uh, maybe we can rotate in here, and I'm going to click on my rotated one here, and um, maybe edit image, and then these are the rotate options here. What is this one? This one says rotate this way, we want to rotate counterclockwise. Let's see. There we go. That looks about right. So again, I was able to rotate the image by going to the media gallery. I'll show you how I did that again. Oops, it's got to resave it though. I don't know how that's going to mess with the um, gallery though. Whoosh, we'll see. So I'm going to close with a little uh, X in the upper right corner there. Let me see. Again, I went to Media, Library. I chose my image. And then I went to Edit Image right here. And then I was able to rotate it. So those are how I got to be able to rotate it so it was in the right dimension. Um, let's go back to our page uh, to get back to the page that you were working on. You go back to where it says pages, and then you can say all pages right here. And then you'll see my uh, image assignment one is right here. I'm going to click on that, and let's see how it affected my gallery here. Oh, it didn't rotate it there, did it? Mm. Maybe I could delete it. 
and then add it again. Um, upload an image. Let's see. Uh, oh no, we already uploaded an image. We want to add an image from our our. It's already here. Oh, edit gallery right here, and there's an edit gallery option right here. And then um, let's add to gallery my media library. Let's see if we. Oh, it's not giving me. Why is it not giving me all my uploaded image? No, media library. Not showing me all my images. Oh, because that one was there. I would probably have to upload another one, but let's add. Um, let's add a new image. We just choose another one. A little bit of a challenge here with this. Let's see. Let's go to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna upload another one. In the media gallery here. And then um, it's going to take a little while here, but you can give it alternative text while you're waiting for it. I don't even know what this image is, though, but again, it's some sort of image of Pittsburgh. We could just put that in. Oh, that didn't even let me type yet. Okay, this one, and then let's see if I can rotate it here because this, again, is not in the right. This is kind of rotated here. So, again, the rotate, I'm going to um, add to gallery, but can I edit it first? No, it doesn't look like it. Mm. There's no edit there either. I don't know. You might have to work at trying to add it, but I did add it to the gallery. Maybe it doesn't like it because it's horizontal and vertical mixed. Oh, but this is still in the gallery. It's right here. Hmm. I don't know. Update gallery. Let's see what it does. Oh, okay. That one's correct. Okay, so it did bring this one back in. It just was probably not refreshing properly. Okay, all I'm going to ask you to do is just work on gallery, try the different options, try and you know rotate an image if you need to, and so on. Those are kind of things that you can do um, right inside of WordPress. Let's go. Let's continue. Um, and I'm not going to add another image here, so I accidentally clicked on what I didn't want here. So whatever. Let's preview what we got and see what we have. So I'm going to hit the publish option here, publish, and let's see what it looks like. Uh, we're going to view page. And so we have our first page. Again, we have a, a, a transparent GIF. We have an animated GIF. And we have a gallery. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about overall images and images for our our entire site so right now you'll notice at the very top here it says my blog just another WordPress site so uh, there's sometimes called a, um, a header image or sometimes called an hero image and a hero image could be several different types of hero images usually they're big images that kind of take up the whole screen but what I want to do is I just want to add an image that goes across the top up here where it says my blog and I'm gonna change where it says my blog and so on so kinda of there's two uh, universal image um, options again that's the top option up here at the very top of the page and then there's something called a featured image those options are fine under the customize option you can either click here or if you're in the dashboard there's another option to get to customize if you're in the dashboard you can go down here to where it says appearance and say customize here either way you click on the customize and let's talk about customize uh, again customize is the overall um, kind of uh, way of adjusting your theme and I know we haven't even talked about theme yet but uh, you'll notice today uh, there is a theme and this is the 2019 theme which is the default theme whenever you install WordPress uh, we will talk about changing your theme in the next uh, video as well so uh, I'm gonna leave this 2019 for right now just so I can go through the options that are common to um, the customize and you can see where the images can be added in this area uh, the first image that can be added to this area is the site identity and in the site identity, you'll notice there is one for a logo here at the top. So what is the logo? Well, the logo could be an image. It would go up here sort of towards the top. And um, I don't really have a logo. I didn't really make a logo. Um, but um, we could just use one of the, the photos that I have. Hopefully I have a smaller image. So let me just choose one that I have. Um, let me go to upload an image, upload files. Let's select a file. Um, maybe we can do my um, 
Did I, do I have anything? I didn't really choose. I didn't think about that for a moment. I was kind of, oh, let's do the skyline image. We'll change that one as my logo here. So we'll put that in there. And look, it says su suggested dimensions 119 by 119 for your logo. This is, of course, too big right now. So we could go and double click on our image. Isn't there a way to go to edit this image? I'm just struggling with edit. Oh, here it is. There's an edit image option over here in the right side. So it said for the logo, it's suggested image dimension for your logo with square by 190 pixels by 190 pixels. So in this case, I can actually go and crop this image. I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to go and crop this image by using over here where it says edit image. And inside there, I'm going to go to the crop option. Aspect ratio is 1 to 1. Um, we can change the size here. So let's go 1 to 1. Um, where is the crop option? Uh, selection. Uh, let's see. 15 by 15. What did I just say? It needed 190, was it? By 190. There we go. Whoosh. Don't want to be in the sky there. Let's say we want to do, uh, how about we do point, um, we can make this a little bigger. There we go. Let's kind of do the, the, the kind of bridge in the area there. Okay. We'll put a bridge in there and some of the city in there. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so, whoosh. And look, it made it, made it awful big there, didn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's try again. 190 by 190. I guess we're going to be stuck with such a small thing. You can make a logo. This is probably not a very good thing. I don't know what it's doing here, but let's update and see what it does. It's just going to be um, a little thumbnail there. So uh, let's see. Um, oh, I left it here. Ah, I ain't going to worry about it right now. Uh, again, I'm going to go back to my um, customize, which is under appearance customize, and uh, under site identity, select logo, and I'm just going to choose this one that we had there. Oh, there it's asking me to crop it now, so maybe not do what I did before. Here we go. Let's try this crop image. There we go. That looks better. So I don't know what I was doing before, but ooh, we got a nice little circle. It even puts it in a circle for you there. Okay, next is the other part that um, we didn't really talk about yet as far as image-wise, and I'll, I'll probably have to add this too, and that is the, um, what is the, the, um, the um, fav, favcon. What is a favcon? Well, a favcon is this little icon you see up here. If you look at the browser window, you'll see there is an icon here. There's a little icon there. If you look at my website at... Um, Zircon, you'll notice there is a big Z. See the Z with the circle there? See the Z with the circle? This is called the favcon. You can see it right there. It comes from uh, when we used to use Internet Explorer and they had a, a, something called favorites and they wanted icons in your favorites and they would call it favcon. So um, if you want to do that, that's also a little square. As you can see, it's going to be 512 by 512 pixels. You can see that it's saying that there. Um, you know, one one place I tend to, uh, you know, I like little icons that are actually um, icons. You can see them here. So um, uh, I, here's a nice place that you can actually steal a, a favcon. is It's called the Noun Project. So I want like an icon. You can see these things are icons too. They're just like little drawings of things here. You can see them. So to add that, I'm going to go to the... T-H-E, noun, N-O-U-N, project, P-R-O-J-E-C-T, dot com. And the noun project dot com is a place where you can get all kinds of icons. Now, um, I'm going to type in a city because what we're doing is city. So I'm going to go city. And uh, it'll give me some city icons right here because that's what we're talking about here. I don't know if they have Pittsburgh right now, but uh, we type that in. Pittsburgh. They probably do have it in there. No. no. City. No. We'll keep in city. I've drawn the city m multiple times, so I should have some somewhere. Uh, so which one of these might be a nice little icon that goes up here in the top? You know, you can look through. Um, uh, you know, depending on the subject you are using, you can type that in. So in this case, um, that's, that's New York for sure. I don't want that one. Um, this one's not very good. I don't know. Let me just find one. I kind of like lots of contrast like this. Again, that's New York. I don't want to use that. I don't know what city that is. That's just a building. 
Um, I don't know, I'm going to use, how about we use this one? I'll just go with that one. So I'm going to choose this uh, icon. Now, in order to put this in there, you'll notice it said 512 by 512 inside of WordPress, which means it's kind of square. So I don't have a um, an account with these people, so I can't really get this. If you click on get this icon, it's going to ask you for a login and password, and I don't have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal this. I know, again, I, I talked about copyright before, and no, I'm violating more copyrights. Uh, I'm going to do a screen grab of this and add that as my icon. To do a screen grab on a Mac, I can hold on Command Shift 4, and it turns my cursor into a crosshair here. And then I'm just going to kind of draw kind of a square box, as best square as I can get it. You're not going to make it exactly 512 by 512. It doesn't matter. As long as it's kind of square, uh, it'll adjust it for you. And once you put it in there and you release your mouse, it puts it on your desktop. Where does it go? Well, when you take a screen grab on a Mac, it puts it on your desktop here. And if we go to our desktop, I'm going to go to my desktop there. You'll see it has this uh, city right here. There it is right there. You can put it in your folder if you want. There you go. I have a folder here for my thing. And so again, it takes something called a screenshot. Now, if you're on Windows, there is a, uh, uh, the ability to do a screenshot on Windows using the um, the uh, uh, the tool, what's it called? The sl snipping tool. Snipping tool. So just go and search snipping tool, and it'll give you the ability to take a screen grab on Windows as well using the snipping tool. So uh, uh, let me go back again. I'm going to go back to my uh, there. So inside of WordPress, again, I'm under the customize option. Inside the customize option, again, I'm under site identity. It's right here, site identity. I added my um, logo image right here. Um, I can give my, my website a name. This is Jeff Raskoff's website. So you give yourself a name, and you don't want to call it just another uh, WordPress site. Let's call it the um, um, the greatest, greatest, great, G-R-E-A, greatest city is Pittsburgh. Okay, so again, you'll see it'll change your text up there. And then uh, again, let's give our, our no image here. Let's select our image here uh, down here where that icon I just did a screen grab is right here. I'm going to say select image. And again, I'm going to upload that image. Uh, again, upload is right here. I'm going to upload that image that I uh, stole, that screen grab, that screenshot there. And it'll upload it. And then once I'm done uploading it, you can give it alternative text. And that's going to be my uh, city icon. And then I can hit select here. And it's going to ask me to crop it. I don't need to crop it. It's kind of good size already. I'm going to hit OK. And there you go. We'll have, And you can see right here, I have a nice little favcon to my website as well right now. So that was all uh, underneath the site identity there inside of the customize option inside of WordPress. So if I go back, uh, I'm done with the site identity for right now. I'm not changing the theme yet, I'm just leaving it. If you want, you can change colors as well. Colors are uh, the colors that go with the theme. Uh, right now it's using some default ones, okay, but you can actually use some customized ones if you want. You can change some colors there. I don't know what that's changing there. I'm not really sure. Um, Whatever, I, I'm not going to adjust that. Uh, menus we haven't done yet. I will talk about using menus when we make multiple pages. Widgets, I'm not going to add any widgets right now. Uh, home page settings is where you can change and adjust. Now, right now, it thinks you're making a blog. And when you're making blogs inside of WordPress, they call them posts. And every time you make a new blog post, it'll put the new latest one in, on the top. Now, I'm not really making a blog right now. I'm just making pages randomly so that I can learn and practice. So um, you can leave that there if you want or you can say static page. If you say static page you can then choose what page you want to be your first page and I'm just gonna go to my image assignment for right now and choose that. It'll put my image there. So again that was underneath home settings. I chose static page and I chose my page to be the first page. And then lastly um, that's about it. The other one I wanted to talk about was called the featured image. And the featured image is actually in the, let me see, where is the featured image? Um, well, that's a good question. I thought it was in here. 
Let me let me go and find it for a moment. I think I think the featured image is on a page. So um, we're actually done here with the um, with this uh, customize right now for now. So let me close this by clicking the X in the upper corner there. And uh oh, oh I get to hit publish. Hit publish before you go away. Okay, hit publish first, then hit the X, and it'll go back to here. Uh, let's go back to our page. To get back to the pages that you were working on, you go back to pages. You can say right here in the menu down here, you say all pages. And then let's go back to our image assignment page. There's two more things I want to show there. Um, oh, here it is. So in each page, you see there's one that says featured image right here. What is the featured image? It's on the right side there of this page. That again is if somebody was going to share this page on social media or somewhere else, what image is going to be like the thumbnail for that sharing, which is rather important for social media and things like say if somebody's going to share this page on um, social media, like on their Facebook and stuff, what image will be there is your featured image right here. So if you click on there, you can add a featured image. A uh, featured image could be any of the images that you already have, or you can upload a new image if you want. And um, again, a lot of it you might want to make kind of small so it doesn't take up too much space. Um, you can even have an animated GIF, I believe. It could be any kind of image there. Um, let's see if I can find an image. These are all quite big. Um, let me try this one. I don't know what this one is. I can barely see it, that's all. The featured image might not be on your page. It's, I think it's kind of like hidden, but it's the image that is shown when it's being shared. And so where it says alternative text here, you can give that. I don't even know what this image is here. Um, oh, it's a church. Um, so this is a church. And then um, there we go. Let's hit select. And you can see it over here. And so again, featured image is not going to be on your screen. Like I said, this this image now, if somebody was going to share this page on 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 on. on Facebook, this is what would show. So um, a lot of times your featured image might have some graphics on it. It might have some data in there. I'm just pointing out that that's a very important part of your um, Facebook or your your blog page or your uh, WordPress page is a featured image. Okay, last one. I, I promise this will be the very last one. Uh, I'm going to add one more image to my page, and that is going to be a URL image. And what is a URL image? Well, that's an image that you find on the Internet, and you copy the address, and it pulls the photo from the Internet. So unlike uploading an image and including it on your page like I just did by using the media stuff, I'm not actually going to do that. I'm actually going to pull it from a URL. How I'm going to do that? I'm going to Wikipedia is a good way to do, go for this uh, test and to, to try this. So if I go to Wikipedia... And I'm going to go to Pittsburgh. And then I hit return. You notice it has all these beautiful photos over here. Some of them I stole and so on and so on. And so I want to take and put some of these images. Uh, let's say this nice old image right here of the city from 1874 and include it on my website. Now I could click on this and I could download it if I want. But you'll notice that there is an address inside of Wikipedia right here. I, this is the actual link to the page. I can copy this right here and then I can go back to WordPress and put it in there. Or another way that you can go about it is that if you want, you instead of clicking on it right there, you can right click on the thumbnail there and say um, where it says copy image location right there. Again, I'm using the Firefox browser. That's why you see the options that I have here. Chrome, you would have different options when you right click and so on. So if I right click here and say copy image location right here, then I can go back to my blog page here. And you'll notice where it says in the image option, again, I clicked on the image option. And if you don't see the image option there, that was, um, that's where, that's just the same image, you know, if you're inserting an image. In the image option, you'll see it says insert from URL right there. If you look at that, instead of upload, which we've been doing, or the media library, which is the library you already have, you can say insert from URL. 
and then you can paste that URL. Again, I could either hit Command V or I can right click and say paste, and it puts in the image in there, and then hit the little apply option there, and you'll notice my image comes in. Now, the image is not in my media gallery or anywhere else. It's basically pulling that image from that other website and putting it on my, web, on my website, which is a good thing. You're making a relationship between the other website and your website, but uh, the downfall is if they change it, it's going to be broken on your website. So, and then you should give it alternative text as well. So I'm going to call this old photo for right now, not to waste a bunch of time. time. And I'm going to hit update. Then I'm going to preview my page and see. Oh, there's my featured images at the top. Oh, okay, that's where it is. Look at that. That actually looks pretty good, actually. So the featured image went to the top of my page. I didn't realize that was going to do that, but that's kind of cool. I thought it was per page because it looked like it was per page. I don't know. I'll have to think about how to use the featured image a little bit better for now. Um, uh, so we hit preview, there we go. If you view page, right here where it says view page, this is the, what I want you to copy. So if you go to view page, um, I want you to copy your page and send that to me so that I can review that you did um, all these wonderful things that I just talked about in images on your website. Make sure you, you use this as your default page so I can see it. 